Thinus Heraclean, from myth to reality Thinus Heraclean, Egyptian and Greek city name, is a lost city of myth and reality. Before Alexandria was founded in 331 BC, the city had a reputation as the port of entry for all ships entering Egypt from the Greek world. It is also an important religious site because of the Temple of Elman, which plays an important role in rituals related to eternal life. The city, which was founded around the 8th century BC, and, it survived many natural disasters before falling into the depths of the Mediterranean in the 19th century. No trace of Thinus Heraclean was found until 2000, when it was discovered by the European Institute of Underwater Archaeology ESM, led by Frank Gaudio. His name has been almost completely erased from human memory, only in ancient manuscripts and rare inscriptions found in the country by archaeologists. The Greek historian Herodotus, 5th century BC, tells that a great temple was built where the famous hero Hercules first entered Egypt. He also reported that Helen had visited Heraclean with her lover Paris before the Trojan War. More than 40 years after Herodotus' visit to Egypt, the geographer Strabo discovered that the city of Heraclean, where the Temple of Heracles was located, was located at the current mouth of the Canopic branch of the Nile east of Canopus. Discovery working with Egyptian Supreme Council of Antiquities, Frank Gaudio and his team were able to locate, map and excavate part of the city of Sixtinus, Heraclean in a special survey based on state use, state-of-the-art technical equipment, 5 kilometers from the beach. The city is located in the entire study area from 11 to 15 kilometers west of the Abuker Gulf to a depth of about 100 kilometers. 10 meters research began in 1996, map of the entire area used throughout the year. The first discovery took place in 2000. Frank Gaudio found important information about the ancient Thinus Heraclean site, such as the Temple of Ammon and his son Khonsu, Heracles of the Greeks, which reports that once controlled all trade, life as well as the daily lives of those living in Egypt. It also solved a historical mystery that puzzled the Egyptians for years. Historical records show that Heraclean and Thinus were the same city, but had two names Thinus is the name of an Egyptian city. What the city looks like. Excavated objects show the beauty and splendor of the city, its beautiful temples and rich historical evidence, colossal statues, manuscripts and artifacts, jewelry and coins, ritual objects and ceramics, a civilization frozen in time. The quantity and quality of ancient artifacts found in the Thinus Heraclean region show that the city experienced its best period of prosperity and activity between the 6th and 4th centuries BC. This is easily visible from the many coins and pottery from this period. The port of Thinus Heraclean has several large lakes and is a center for international trade. The hard work of the port led to the prosperity of the city. The discovery of more than 700 ancient ships of various shapes and 79 shipwrecks from the 6th to the 2nd century BC, 40 more found but not yet proven, also testify to the use of the ocean here. The city stretches around the temple, and the network of canals in and around the city makes it look like a lakeside home. There are houses and places between islands and islets. Excavations here have unearthed exquisite archaeological objects such as bronze statues. To the north of the Temple of Hercules is a large canal running through the city from east to west, connecting the harbor basin to the lake in the west. Thinus Heraclean was also the place where the mystery of Osiris was celebrated. This important festival is held every year to commemorate the rebirth of the god Osiris. The texts and illustrations of the Osirian Chapel and the Canopus Royal Decreased Deal in Dentra Temple detail the celebration of this vigil and the return of the gods. Osiris was taken by ceremonial boat from the city's main temple, Amon Gareb, to his temple at Canopus. Underwater archaeological research at Thinus Heraclean continues to this day. Frank Gaudio estimates that only 5% of the city has yet to be seen.